however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to uh, my laptop with my thumb drive and um, go chase down the drivers real fast. And uh, well, in fact, I'll, I'll pause this camera and then I'll bring it out with me and uh, show you how it's done, you know, at, at least on, on this one. Um, so just hang tight. Okay, so I'm over here at my laptop and uh, got my thumb drive plugged into the back. We're at Google. I'm going to type in Dell Dimension 3000 drivers. Okay, in fact, this one here has it highlighted. And again, you're going to want to go through whatever your manufacturer's website is. Uh, Dell, Asus, Gigabyte, Biostar, you know, oh, whatever. Okay, now the top of the one right here, if you notice right here at the, the bottom, it says support.dell.com. Now this is the manufacturer's website. I'm going to click on this link. It's going to take me straight to the page that I need. My internet's being a little slow tonight for some reason. Okay, now this here is just showing you product model dimension 3000, um, operating system, Windows XP, driver language, English. Okay, if, if you use a different language, that's fine. Make sure you select it to there. Okay, ones I need is audio. So I'm going to click on the little plus for audio. Download now. it'll bring me up this now I'm I'm clicking save because they're not on the uh, computer that I'm say you know obviously wanting to run them on uh, I'm gonna click on my computer real fast and removable disk E and I'm gonna make a new folder which is this this little tab over here it's a folder with like the red kind of star or sun looking at it and I'm just gonna write or type rather Dell drivers Okay, then double click that folder. Okay, now I'm going to push that create new folder icon again. And this one is audio. Okay, and then come down and click on the open. Okay, now that it's in there, this, the open will change to save. Go ahead and click save. Now I don't need these to open automatically, so. Okay. Now that I've got that going, now I need the communications, or excuse me, network for the land card. Okay, now you'll notice they'll show you different ones, like this one says optional, this one says optional, this one until a driver, it's the actual driver we need recommended okay so download now okay again I'm gonna click on save okay now this folder with the green arrow is up one level okay so right here it says Dell drivers that's what I named this one okay now when I'm inside the Dell drivers I'm gonna create new folder this one is for the LAN networking, so I'm just going to label it LAN. Okay, click open and click save. Okay, close that box. Okay, that one downloads pretty fast. Okay, now I got one more, which is the video. This one so happens to be at the bottom. Now again, it's showing three different ones. This driver, driver, which both again say optional, optional. This one here, I'm going to go recommended. Okay, download now. Again, click on save. The green folder with the arrow up one level. Okay, now the folder next to it, which is create. And I'm just going to type in 
video. You can you don't have to do them like this. You can name them whatever you want. I do it like this because it's easier to keep track of them all. Okay, it's got about 10 seconds left of download. Okay, copy it over. There we go, we're done. Now I'll take us back in to the. Okay. <coughs> We're back at the Dell. This little pop-up you see here is just picking up on my uh, thumb drive. Okay, now this window comes up. I got other stuff on here too, so the one I want is open folder to view files. Okay. Now, you see the one I want, remember I titled Dell Drivers. That's this one here. Okay, we're going to start with the video drivers first. Okay, you double click that folder, and then you just double click that icon. This will come up. Just uh, hit continue. This is telling you where it's going to uh, install uh, or um, unzip the files to. Click OK. This is just telling me that file does not exist, asking me if I want to create it. I'm going to click yes. Okay, all files were successfully unzipped. Click OK. Now, here is the uh, Extreme Graphics to driver installer. Okay, I'm going to come down here and click next. This is again just an agreement. You, you can read it, you don't have to. Um, either way, after you're done, click yes. If you click no, um, it'll cancel installation, so you got to click yes regardless. The screen will flicker, that's just because it's um, installing the drivers. Uh, it's 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 nothing to worry about. Don't panic when you see your screen turn black real fast. Key this here is asking if uh, we want to restart the uh, computer. Okay, you can you can click yes and and restart it and then do each drivers. Uh, I I generally click on no. Don't restart it now. I'll restart it later. Click finish. Okay, we're gonna click the back button. Now we're going to go to the LAN. And again, you don't have to do them in this order. Uh, it's just the way I do it. Okay, double click that icon. Again, this is just telling you, you know, what it is. Click continue. This is asking you where to unzip the files. Click OK. Does not exist. Do you want to create it? Click yes. Okay, all files were successfully unzipped. Click OK. And now it's installing network drivers. Now this little bubble that popped up is new network device installed because now that it's got the drivers, it actually picked up on the LAN card and is getting everything um, set up and installed for it. Okay, new network device installed. And that part's good. Okay, I'm gonna click back one more time. And this time I'm gonna click on the audio folder double click that one for the audio okay again just continue click OK yes create it okay all files successfully unzipped click OK okay now here's telling you welcome to the install wizard okay I'm gonna click next it goes pretty quick generally at least on this machine it is And uh, that's uh, pretty much pretty much it. It's pretty much done. Now if I go back down here to uh, the start and then come up to my computer again, over this side here where it says View System Information. Okay, now see it's asking to restart again. Now we're going to just ignore that for just a second because I want to show you. View System Information the hardware tab which is second on the uh, bottom from the left or excuse me from the right down here to device manager and you see it's still got the PCI modem and the SM bus controller that's fine I'm not too worried about it that those will update here when we run Microsoft updates anyway okay so I got 